I need to say that those who come here talking about NRM this, NRM has a lot of money waning. Power is for keeping. It doesn't matter how good you are. Obote was a wonderful leader. Obote didn't steal. Obote didn't steal any money. He didn't build the mansions. He didn't know. But he lost power twice. Idi Amin was a wonderful leader. Look at what he was able to achieve. But Idi Amin understood Sinoraj. He understood Sinoraj. That's why he built the UN, the building, the embassy in, uh, in New York, in Japan. He built airports, underground airports. But he also didn't know how to keep power. Museveni knows how to keep power. He does. And, and he's, not, he's not going to leave it like that. And he say, oh, you know what? You have too much money. He's not going to leave it. You know, listening to some of these MPs and some of the things that you are saying, I ask myself a question. Do you have to be an MP? Is politics the only thing you can do? If you don't have money, you go and if you want ideas, go to university, set up a think tank, go to school. There's a lot of ideas there. Yeah. Why are you here saying politics? The Ugandan frame of politics is not for ideas. It's not. How many ideas do we see in parliament? How many? Yeah. I have been to Mbare during elections. I have been to Soroti. You start speaking, you tell me this is wrong. As soon as you start speaking, people queue up, waiting for you to finish. And if you don't have money to give them, they burn the place down. Do you genuinely think that you are going to reverse that trend? Listen to this. Those people who want money, haven't they democratically chosen that they should receive it? Are they not voting with their demand? Why don't you want to give it to them? If you don't have it, choose another profession. Let those all go and work out money and when you have enough, come back and stand before them. Now I had somebody saying that MPs are buying ambulances. My son is an MP in Mugendi. And I told him to buy ambulances for people. What's wrong with that? Your illusion is that the government is the one to sort out our country. Is that politicians are the ones that have solutions. You are deluded. The government is not going to do no such a thing. The government will focus on keeping power and you can't blame it. Because power is for keeping. So, you know, you, you, if, if, I, if I was in power, even in your own home, can I come and say, you relinquish power, let me stand here and we share it and you agree? So do you think uh, NRM is crazy to want to relinquish power? You get a vote, huh? a piece of paper, you drop it in a box and government falls. Really? Eh? <laughs> that is delusional. You know, you know, my brother, my brother Mutishamuntu, my brother Mutishamuntu, you might not know, you know, you are a brilliant, brother Mutishamuntu, you are a brilliant politician. You are intelligent, you are humble, you know, you are strong, you know, but look at how they have fought you in FDC. Yeah? Why don't you talk about that? If you can't have cohesion in the own party that you started, how was this power achieved in 1986? How many people voted for Museveni to come to power? It was achieved like this. You are busy swinging. But now, how do you want it to be given out? So, it is true that we should go to areas and sensitize people, and I wish you good luck. But I would like to be there when you are really making a presentation telling citizens in these villages who hardly have money to buy Porsche and saying, we won't give you money anymore. You have to vote for us on account of ideas. What a job you are thinking. What a job. Okay. Now, there's a brother who mentioned that I talk about whites. What is whites? Who are the whites? There are no people called white. I did not, I talked about the Anglo-American Empire. Most white people are in the same, in the same boat as us. You know, America has over 26 million poor people. 
Some of them live in tents. And those of you who talk about corruption, corruption, I think you are giving Africa fake news, a bad name. Let me give you corruption. In 2008, when the global economy collapsed, how was it achieved? With subprime mortgages. Getting a building like this and giving you a mortgage where you pay $100 a month so you can walk away. And getting these mortgages and student loans, putting them together and, co and creating a collateralized debt obligation. Then getting these rating companies, the so-called Standard and Poor, you know, Moody's, which come and rate us and everybody quotes it in the newspaper, useless organizations. And they rated these CDOs, they gave them triple A rating, the same as government bonds. Then they got AIG to ensure and sell it to external investors. How much money was lost globally in every economy created by these so-called thieves and robbers who stole a whole country? How was America achieved? They stole the country from the dark-skinned Native Americans. The Rappahols, the Arwak, the Namahawk, the Grunchi, the Tiano, the Tokoma Sioux. They killed them all. And then you stand here now to give us an example of democracy. If Uganda has chosen its own brand of democracy, based on you having vote wealth we talk about bride wealth can you go and complain that they have asked you for a hundred cows and if people they might yeah we will we will you know <laughs> yeah, I've heard that. yes we can why don't you say like obama yeah you keep guantanamo bay and still say yes we can yeah? you invade other countries and say yes we can but that is the oldest semblance of European literary intelligence written by a fictitious character called Homer in 580. Why fictitious question mark? Because the Greeks were not writing. But all these Greeks started in Africa. All the old Plato who wrote uh, several books and Aristotle who accompanied Alexander the Greek. We don't call him the Greek because he was a murderer, a thief, everything. So we call him the Greek. He Xerox most of the writing that he found in Africa. So. Please do not bring Aristotle or, you know, these are children compared to us. Me, I study Shekhan Tadiop, you know. So, so, I don't study Aristotle.